My friends, today I bought 50 internet computer protocol worth of gold DAO, which is about $300 worth on the launch pad on internet computer. This is the most exciting project launch I've seen on internet computer so far. And you're going to get a deep dive into gold DAO. I'm here live right now. I will be answering all the questions you got. We'll be going into the gold DAO white paper, the social medias, and exploring why this is a huge deal for internet computer as well. Thank you for all of you being here live. I am having my live stream scheduled now ahead of time so you can always see when the next one is coming up on my channel with replays on my X. So let's first look at where you can participate in this. This is on the launch pad on the network nervous system. You can see I put 50 ICP into this and I do not invest in projects lightly, especially early projects my position as you can see clearly here i have 2907 icp locked up for eight years that is the vast majority of my portfolio i also do occasionally invest if i really like a project on icp i'll put a relatively small amount of icp compared to my full bag into it this project just went live on the best launch pad in all of crypto, which is the launch pad on internet computer. I've done a dedicated video about that in just three hours. This has already nearly met the minimum commitment goal. In just three hours, people have put 151,000 ICP into this, which is amazing. This is more than some other projects have raised in total. And this is what I'm talking about with internet computer protocol gaining momentum. We're gaining momentum that a project raises 151,000 ICP in three hours. This one looks like it's going to hit the maximum on an ambitious 1 million or so ICP raise. There are a much longer list of persons excluded on this, but the US is not excluded on it, which is great. The reason I have invested in this is because this looks like the token is going to increase greatly in value. And I'll explain why for that. Long story short, internet computer gives you the ability to put everything on chain. This token is the governance token for a gold, on-chain gold, which real-world assets is a huge narrative in crypto. This is the best real-world asset project i've ever seen because when the project itself is profitable and generates revenue the token holders themselves because it's all on chain will directly get revenue into the treasury which is what gives value to the token the tokenomics from what i've seen look absolutely fantastic on this as well keep in mind i've been watching this project for at least a month if not longer i've read the entire white paper I've done lots of my own research on this and uh, other projects on internet computer and thousands of other altcoins over the years. So I didn't just throw into this not knowing anything about it. I've looked up quite a bit about this and I'm going to share it here with you. So let me point out one of the biggest things I see that's huge, not just for this project, but for internet computer itself. Look at, this is one big reason I put so much ICP into this. If we go back to the launch, you'll see that they're aiming to raise about a million ICP. So a direct commitment means people like you and me putting in ICP through the network nervous system. If you search Jerry Banfield network nervous system, I have a dedicated tutorial showing all of this. And if you search Jerry Banfield internet identity, I have a dedicated wallet tutorial. I recommend watch both of those as soon as you can when you start on internet computer. So uh, there's a goal right now to raise about a million ICP total, 750,000 directly from participants, and then another up to 300,000 from uh, the Neurons Fund, where the Neuron Fund also puts in from uh, Internet Computer Protocol staking, essentially, where some of the voting rewards, people put those into the Neuron Fund and the Neuron Fund on behalf of the holders invests in this also which this is just incredible functionality now this is huge for think about where this is going on the internet computer and i'll explain to you why they're doing this in the big picture 
And note, while this video is paid promotion, it is from a community grant from Definity. So community, a community grant, Definity gave me a community grant to continue making the videos I was going to make anyway about internet computer protocol. You can learn more about the community grants program if you're a creator. So this video is done in collaboration with Definity behind internet computer. This is not done in collaboration with Gold Dow. I'm just presenting this information as research and showing you what I've done with my own funds. However, when the Dow comes out for Gold Dow in the future, I may submit a proposal in the future, which is completely automated, which is incredibly cool. So I've done that. I could have asked to do a sponsored video with them, but I didn't because I want to give you the most objective coverage. I'll talk about the good, bad, and the ugly of this project as well because that's important to look at all of those before making any decisions. So let's look at this. I've mentioned this, but it might not be obvious what this means. 80% of the Gold Dow SNS funds will be staked in ICP for eight years. This means that around 800, assuming the full 1 million fundraise goes through, this means about 800,000 ICP will be locked up and staked for eight years with this project. Now, see if, if it makes sense in your head when I just said that. This one project is going to lock up 800,000 ICP. This one project is going to lock up 800,000 ICP. There are only about 300 million total ICP that is unlocked right now. That means there's less than that if you count some of that's being unlocked. But think about that. This one project is about to lock a third of a percent of the whole supply for eight years. Just one project. I've said that repeatedly. Because once you see what I'm saying here, this is crazy. Because it makes absolute sense. If you are Gold Dow, what you want to do is give value to your token. When people are buying your gold governance token, you want to give value to that. And they're raising up to a million ICP here. But for their sake... The developers on this project are getting about the same amount total that is being distributed to participants. So from their point of view, they really want the token, the Gold Dow token to have value. So one big way they're doing that is locking up 80% of the SNS funds for eight years. This will in turn provide a return that will be comparable to what I'm getting right now. So I'll show you what I'm getting right now. I've locked up 6,000, I have 6,000 voting power on 2,900 ICP, 71 of it staked. And if I put, any of you can do this, you can search for your neuron on internet computer and you can see exactly what you're earning. This is something that other tokens are going to follow. Right now, I'm getting 16% annualized rewards, 1.3 maturity, which is about equal to the same amount in ICP. I'm getting 1.3 ICP essentially on average a day. And I will keep getting this indefinitely, although as the more gets staked and the rewards go down, this may drop slightly consistently over time. Still, that's really sweet. Now, that's on 2,900. So let's do some math, 2,900 versus 800,000. So 800,000 divided by 2,900, they'll have 275 times as much as I have, and I'm getting about 1.3 right now. This means the Gold Dow Treasury, when they lock this up, will start getting about 369 ICP a day that will pour into the Gold Dow SNS Treasury, and it will just keep pouring in there indefinitely. All the while having all that ICP locked for eight years to give the token some real value. This makes perfect sense because for them, 
they want to make sure that they're giving the token itself real value for the people who buy it because they have a lot more to gain by the token having real value than by trying to just extract value from the token. Thus, do you see where this is going? Just think about where this is going. This is a very good example right here of how you make a successful launch and give real value to your token and then have constant income just pouring in to the treasury all the time. And then the token has real value. The token has constant income, which means the DAO has real value. Holding the DAO token has value. And then people can constantly make proposals off of this income that's coming every day, all while not even touching the principal. Now picture this is an example for other coins. There are other coins watching this and that are already essentially copying this model. This is hugely exciting for internet computer because the more coins copy this model, the more coins are going to have real value and the more and that they're going to be locking up huge amounts of ICP over time. This is going to snowball like you absolutely can't believe. I remember a uh, friend pointed out the same thing was going to happen to Ethereum. And he said, look at all these tokens launching and putting Ethereum in liquidity pools. The more they lock up in these liquidity pools, the more the supply of Ethereum is going to be scarce, which means there's not as much to buy, which means supply crunch. That's, that's going to be crazy. Say so they are not going to buy 800 ICP. What they are, they are raising on the launch pad, they are raising 800, they are raising a million ICP on the launch pad. People have already put in 152,000. I single handedly put in 50. I know, y'all. Dang, he put in 50. Some of you all have put in 100 and 500 ICP. I hope you've done more research than I have if you've put that much in. I've put hours into this. So I have put in. 50 ICP to this. Others collectively have put in 152,000 ICP. So you can see the average participation on this if you divide 152,000 divided by 396. The average person, y'all are some big bags. The average person or investors put in 383 ICP to this project so far. And that's just in the first three hours of launch. So this is being raised from the decentralization sale, and then they're going to lock up 80% of this for eight years, which will give the token income and value and make the DAO valuable. And the majority of the supply for this is going to be locked up also, as we'll see in the white paper. So I'm nice. Craig says I YOLO'd a thousand. Let's go, Craig. That's, that's pretty good. So the big picture here is not just for Gold Dow, but for ICP in general. This one project, now this is assuming that they are being accurate here, which I would imagine they're going to follow through with this because it'd be a disaster for them and the token if they didn't. You, you do need to make clear these assumptions though. Now imagine there's 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 more projects like this that launch over the next year or two. Think about how much ICP is going to be locked up to give the tokens value. And the tokens themselves will get, their value will thrive because of this, their DAOs will thrive, and uh, I'm telling you this, if, if you haven't seen where ICP is going right now, like this is the most obvious sign I've seen. Just think about this repeating again and again and again. And tokens just exploding on ICP, and all this being locked up. It's nuts. So let's look at some other big things about Gold Dow. What is Gold Dow? We'll go over the white paper too. We'll go over the website first because the white paper is thicker. So it, we're going to need to start with the website and to get more and more complicated. And I'll answer any questions. So, Adam, that's a great question. At what market cap are we buying this at? This, whatever the price of ICP is you just multiply that by five. 
times the total amount of ICP. So right now, you, to find whatever market cap this is, you multiply by the ICP price uh, by times 1 million times 5. So uh, the current ICP price were around $6. So you're looking at this about a $30 million market cap. The total market cap for this coin right now at where we're at today, and obviously things can change constantly, but it's around 30 million and about 60% of it is locked in the treasury with slightly less than uh, being sold, being given to the developers. So there's about 18% or so that's going to the developers. Most of that is locked up and uh, most of the token will be locked up as well. So make sure you do realize that, that this, so the 50 ICP I put in, I will not just be getting dumped all the tokens in 14, 13 days here. The tokens will be locked up in three month intervals out for a year or two. I'll check the white paper on that. But the majority of the tokens will be locked. Most of them on average will be locked at least six months. So you want, you will get some liquid tokens, I believe, immediately but it will only be a tiny fraction but let's look at the website and understand better what this does hd crypto i'm glad you made the live stream you cannot buy this on sonic right now you sh will be able to buy this on sonic in about 14 days the icp launchpad is the only place you can get this and at this rate it looks to me like the launchpad is going to sell out it looks like the launch pad at, at, at in four hours 152 thousands came in i think this entire we only need five times that much to fill out the entire launch so this entire project may fill out in the launch pad and usually what we've seen in icp projects is that the price often when it gets listed on something like sonic will often double in the first compared to its launch pad uh, however that's that's been you know that varies greatly from token to token icp is to me the least risky option because you're just getting those guarantee rewards however one of the reasons i've invested in this is because i want to support this project and as i said i have 2900 icp locked up i have 50 that i put into this so if you do the math on that, I put in like 2% into this compared to what I have into ICP. And right now I'm getting like 1.3 ICP a day. So every week, every week I'm getting 10 ICP that I'm able to put into projects with my voting rewards. And then if you turn that into every month, so I essentially put a little more than a month's worth of my voting rewards into this project. Yes, Gold Dow is already in talks with Tier 1 centralized exchanges. So uh, the Gold Dow token is the governance token for the gold ecosystem. So let's talk some more about that. So this is the Gold Dow token is a way to uh, build value off of the Gold Dow ecosystem. And the ecosystem is about using gold real world assets on chain. So the value of the gold DAO token is a way to indirectly participate in real world assets on chain. I mean, directly participate, but in the sense that you're not actually holding on to any of the assets themselves, although the SNS treasury will. So let's look at what the gold DAO actually does. You can look at this website is at gold-dow.org. The gold DAO is, has made the most technologically advanced real world asset on chain platform for gold you can see this in action if you go to yumi.io slash gold where you can buy physical gold linked to nfts directly on uh, icp right here anywhere at a minimum of 12 icp for one gram of gold or it's down to 11k icp if you want to go grab a kilogram, there's only one of those. They do also have a guaranteed buyback for this as well. Meaning there now there is a margin on it, but it, they will always buy back your gold uh, NFT here too. So the gold DAO, this is the foundation of what gold DAO does. 
And this is the first key thing they do. If you go to yumi.io slash gold, they have NFTs that are built on the Origin protocol, which I've previously covered in a video. If you don't know about Origin, this is essential to how Gold DAO operates. Origin is the most advanced, the first fully on-chain, real-world asset protocol that we have in the world. I mean, there's just one technological breakthrough after another in ICP. The Origin has NFT standard is being used by Gold DAO. There's 500 million OGY tokens that have been uh, given to the Gold DAO treasury, and that helps add value to the token. Gold DAO, all of this is based on using these Origin certificates for the Gold DAO NFTs that are fully on chain, cost efficient, and immutable, giving you giving you traceability, authenticity, and tradeability. And they built this on internet computer after years and years and years of work and research because this is the only place you could build something like this. That is then the origin protocol has made these NFTs possible where each NFT is linked to a specific gold bar in a vault in Switzerland. And the gold bars come from Metalore, which is the largest gold mining company in the world, I believe, taking that off the top of my head. Then you can, there is a management fee with these. So there is a little bit of a spread buying and selling these. So if you're wondering why, well, we'll dig more into that right here. And thank you to everybody here being live. Yes, this is a very exciting project. You do have to have, all right, so... To buy these gold bar NFTs, you do have to complete KYC on Yumi, which is one reason the Gold Dow project is exciting. The next thing they're launching is a gold is a gold coin where you can transact up to a hundredth of a gram in gold, where you could list. There's gonna be so many things you can do with this. So nice to see you all here. The we'll go over the lockup token, but basically most of it will be locked and it will unlock in three month intervals. So let's take a look at what Gold Dow does. So I showed you the foundation of Gold Dow is these gold bar NFTs. Like this, the, the those are built on the Origin protocol. This is the foundation. These one gram, ten gram, hundred gram, and one kilogram gold bars. This is the foundation. And right now you can see they've got they've got a lot of these for sale. There's a lot of these one gram gold bars for sale. Each of these pages here is around seven wide. There's it looks like there's thousands of these gold bars for sale right now. All right, so keep that in mind. The gold bars are the foundation. The gold governance token participates in all of this. And the first thing, the gold governance token controls all of this, except the Yumi marketplace and any outside you know, third-party integrations. The gold NFT is the foundation of this where you can own nearly pure gold, as I said, in a, a vault insured and stored and audited in Switzerland. So the next step of this project is the GLDT token this is a gold token that provides liquidity and flexibility what you'll be able to do this is this is the next step of the project what you'll be able to do is take a gold nft and turn it into a gold token the go the gold token will offer a lot of advantages over the nft because you need kyc to buy the nft there are fees for transacting the nft what you the gold governance SNS system will allow you to do once the gold token is launched, which that's one of the priorities after they get the SNS launch, you'll be able to turn the gold NFT into gold tokens. And why is that valuable? Because then you'll be able to use the gold tokens to transact in much smaller and more specific pieces. And this goes into, well, why would I want a gold NFT or a gold token? Our fiat currencies are constantly being destroyed by inflation. Even in the last few years, $100 in 2019, you need $120 today to buy the same stuff, the same spending power 
that $100 would buy you in 2019. That's why things are, these governments, central banks are just infinitely, infinitely printing all of this fiat currency. One of the biggest problems people have in the world is that you cannot to hold on to your fiat currency. Like somebody sent me a hundred dollar Canadian bill a couple years ago in the mail. They mailed me a hundred dollar Canadian bill. And because I haven't been to Canada lately, I haven't had a chance to spend this. And the spending power of this bill keeps dropping while it sits here in my studio on my desk. That means people around the world cannot just save money, which means people around the world need to be able to have a currency in something that actually will go up over time. If you look at the price of gold over time, the price of gold has consistently went up over time. Obviously, there have been some pumps and some dumps, but the reason you would want a gold NFT or a gold token is to save because you cannot save money in fiat currency, you always are getting wrecked by inflation. So the big value of real world assets on chain is that average people around the world getting regular sized paychecks could afford to buy something like a gold token and hold that instead of holding fiat currency that constantly devalues. Now, you might not think this is a big deal in the US where your currency has been devalued only 20% in like four years. In other places like Argentina, the value of the currency drops 50% like every year. So if someone in Argentina can get a hold of a tiny bit of ICP, and uh, obviously I think ICP is the best to hold, but if you don't want that kind of price volatility like you get with crypto, then something like the gold token is going to be pretty stable and steadily increase in value over time. So in order to understand the value of the gold DAO project, you really need to understand the problem of inflation and that people can't really save money, which is why as a part of a diversified portfolio, to me, it's very intelligent to have some gold because gold is generally just going to go up indefinitely. Therefore, that's why people would want to have some gold token. And the gold NFTs are, while the foundation, a gold NFT is not really for most people. So what the gold NFTs will do is allow the creation of the gold token and the gold token then provides liquidity and flexibility. For example, I could charge a fixed amount of gold tokens instead of anything else. I have an open chat right now where I have an open chat channel where I charge one ICP where this is the main... Uh, Open chat is the biggest community I have online now. It's even gotten bigger than the Discord. The link is directly on jerrybanfield.com. I have a one ICP channel. The problem with my one ICP channel, though, is what happens when uh, I'm subject, that channel is subject to huge price volatility, up or down, and uh, something like having a channel that is in a gold amount might be a lot nicer because that's a pretty predictable cost. While it should steadily go up over time, you know, it's probably not going to 10x overnight or drop 90%, you know, either. So that's that's why the gold token is a big deal. Now there are other gold tokens out there, but none of them has their rapid none of them has what gold dow has none of them has a completely on-chain solution from nft to dow governance gold token and then this is kind of the pinnacle of what gold dow is looking to offer is and it looks like they've already got this there's a button click on swap i haven't seen anywhere where i use that you can swap this yet but the the end phase of what they're looking to do is get a gold backed stable coin while their stable coins are huge business on other blockchains right now and those like usdt and usdc will be coming to internet computer however though the backing of those tokens is questionable how much do they have in reserves? What if everybody all tries to redeem their USDT for crypto or for actual dollars at the same time? 
the backing of those tokens is very questionable, which is why having a gold-backed stablecoin governed by a DAO, and here's the beauty of it. They are making tons of money on these USDT and USDC stablecoins, and the backing of them, meanwhile, as a consumer, I don't hold any USDT or USDC because what's the point of holding a, quote, stable coin that's pegged to US dollars? US dollars is always going down in value. And then I hold a stable coin that could also go to zero, potentially. There's no upside and there's tons of risk. This gold stable coin is, gives the ability that then you could turn the gold tokens into a US dollar pegged stable coin, which then could be absolutely ideal to use something that has a clear collateral backing backed by gold. Then the gold DAO token holders can earn when all of this makes money because the USDG stable coin, these other stable coins are very profitable and the USDG stable coin will have staking and should be very profitable itself, then where do the profits go? The profits go to the gold governance token DAO holders. And that's what's really cool. Instead of these centralized entities making a fortune off of this, these stable coins, the gold DAO token holders can actually make money off of this gold backed stable coin. So this project, they've taken a long time, I mean, this project and everything necessary for it has been in the making for quite a while. They've been working up to this launch all year. And this has a ton of potential to uh, bring returns to investors. That said, there is risk. There's lots of different areas of risk to this. If something has, you know, something is the gold actually in the vaults, they have auditors. There's, there's, if something happens with ICP, if something happens with Origin, there's, there's lots of different areas that this could be risky, which is why I've put about 2% of what I have in ICP into this project. I haven't, you know, thrown my whole bag into it, but this project looks like it could have huge potential for the reasons I'm stating here. So let's continue going down and, uh, cover some more of the benefits and we'll go into the white paper and I'll I'll answer any questions you have as well. So on their website, they say, why does the gold DAO exist? The primary concern, and this is why I have never bought any other form of gold, paper gold. One of the primary concerns is the gold market is the practice of selling more paper gold, such as futures, options, and EFTs than the actual physical gold that exists. I mean, this is a huge issue. This is how the gold price has been suppressed. The gold price, from my opinion, should be way higher than it is. But what has been done is that paper gold has all... There's people who are think they are buying gold. There's way more people who think they're holding gold than there is actual gold. It may be as many as two to ten times as many people think they're holding gold as actual real gold exists. And this has been done through futures, options, and ETFs that look like to me to keep the price of gold suppressed. They've artificially sold way more gold than actually exists. And this happens because there's intermedi intermediaries and middlemen who are selling these things and are not directly accountable to how much gold they've sold and not clearly and easily auditable. The vision of the Gold Dow project is to make this physical gold very easily accessible and liquid. Even if people have been honest in selling the gold, it's not very easily liquid and transferable. For example, you have gold coins on other chains that have huge gas fees you have to pay to transfer them, which means even in cases where you have these other parties that have been very honest and very transparent, it's you haven't actually been able to use gold as a medium of exchange because the fees are so high, the transactions are so slow. This looks like to me the first time you have a mass adoption gold asset 
that is set up in a way that is mass adoption friendly, where the gas fees are almost nothing to make transactions, where holders of the token will actually get value, where the gold is tracked and directly on chain and transparent and auditable easily. And then you could actually do something like make gold US gold coin, like the the gold coin or the gold back stable coin. You could put these directly on exchange pairs. There's a ton of uh, opportunities for this to be successful. As you can see, this is audited, fully decentralized, and they are very much planning on bringing this cross chain. If you look at the white paper, which we'll do, they're planning, they're starting this on ICP because ICP has the infrastructure to build all of this out fully on chain and to run the DAO fully on chain. And once you understand this, you see that a lot of the new coins that are going to launch in the future, especially some of the most exciting projects, they're going to launch on internet computer. And uh, that is, this project, Gold Dow, is an example of high quality projects with huge potential that have taken their time to pick the best infrastructure for setting up. However, ICP is only the foundation. ICP is the foundation for this. What they're going to do once they get everything launched and set up, they're going to branch out and bring in other chains and liquidity from things like Ethereum, from centralized exchanges. There's a lot of value that may pour into this entire ecosystem because of this. So this is the gold DAO ecosystem. You've got the community through the gold governance token is able to participate and govern and in exchange for participating and governing, you receive rewards and the rewards give value in the treasury, which gives value to the token because then the token holders get to decide what to do with it. For example, when all this money starts coming into the treasury from staked ICP, plus you've got all the gold tokens there, what I can do is I can submit a proposal once the proposal system that Juno, the developer of Juno build, once he gets that set up for SNSs, I can go in there and submit a proposal that, hey, if you give me you know, some amount of ICP and some amount of gold tokens, then uh, I will make a de another dedicated live stream like this where we talk about gold DAO. And then the voters of the gold DAO token directly can vote on that. And if they vote yes, I will automatically get paid to do that. That's what's uh, these uh, you got. Do you guys understand how far ahead I'm thinking here? Because I'm here in ICP. This this is so by far the best opportunity I see for a crypto creator. Are you putting all this together like as I'm. Any other crypto creator should see this coming too. You create videos about ICP and all these DAOs will be a great place where you can submit proposals and get sponsorships that are fully on chain to talk about them. I mean, this is so, this is the magic of DAO governance and anyone, anyone will be able to submit a proposal to do anything for the gold DAO and they're going to have a bunch of money to pay out for these proposals all the time. I mean, this is just magical. The gold governance token then owns 500 million or OGY, plus it'll have the 800,000 ICP stake for eight years. All of that will be generating rewards, which then go to the community and go out to DAO proposals. The gold governance then controls the gold stable coin, the gold backed stable coin, and controls the gold token. And uh, the origin protocol is what controls the gold NFTs and when these are swapped back and forth to the gold coins. So this is an amazing ecosystem for making gold something we could actually use to transact in. I am reading almost all the comments too. Fevel says, how many subscribers do you need to have a community grant? Blockchain pill, you, you can... 
I've seen several creators, Blockchain Pill and a couple of others, they were around a thousand subscribers or maybe even less when they got a community grant. So especially the less money you ask for, you have the chance where you can get a community grant. However, I would make sure if you want to request a community grant as I've done, first that you've already made ICP content that you can show that you'll make more like it. And second, work with someone who's already got one like me. I worked with the Boom Dow team. They already had got a grant. They suggested I apply for one. I said, yeah, I'll apply for one if you want to help me do everything. I, I did most of the work and they reviewed what I did and made suggestions. And uh, if you want to apply for a community grant, I recommend join my open chat room, join the VIP one ICP room and ask questions. Any questions you have about the grant, post in there, ask in there. I also read the diamonds chat here as well. You can join Discord also. So we've covered the basics of the gold DAO token here. All this is obviously linked on my website as well. So let's take a look. We've went through most of the gold DAO website. We'll take a look at a couple more tweets and then we'll go deeper into the white paper. So here's what I've said basically explained in a tweet for you. So here's how they're creating liquidity for gold DAO. Well, no, this is a little different subjects that we needed to cover as well. So a big part of having a successful token launch is having liquidity where you can actually trade this and buy it and get it available. So the first step, they're going to list gold, the gold gov token. Now, I'm going to offer a little criticism here because this is a the good, bad and the ugly of the project. I don't like the, the abbreviation for the token. It's too long. And while I, I realize they might they wanted to make something unique. G-L-D-G-O-V is, is too many words. It's too long. I, I wish they would have done something different with the branding of this. The gold governance, gold DAO, it, and then all the different tokens. It's a bit confusing, and the main token being abbreviated G-L-D-G-O-V, uh, I wish they would have maybe just you know shortened it or something like that, but you know that's that could be a limiting factor in terms of how well it does, but GLD, Gov, I, I hope that's good enough. I hope it works. So the first thing, listing gold Gov on DEX right after SNS, it'll be paired with ICP and with OGY. So I imagine this will be on Sonic and on I IC Lite and uh, on some other ICP exchanges almost immediately after the token is done within 14 days or so. Step two, the liquidity that will back these tokens will come from the treasury funds, which there's plenty of treasury funds for the liquidity pool. Next, for the gold gov ICP pair, they'll come from the part of the 20% SNS pool, which the 80% is being staked and locked up for eight years. And all of these things will be voted on. It looks like the voting power according to the white paper, should actually be balanced between the developers and the community, which I really am happy to see that. Some of the other projects have had absolute majority voting power from the beginning and uh, constantly are keeping that, which makes it hard to argue it really has any decentralization. In the white paper, it looks like community votes will actually matter, which is something I considered before buying this. Then what they're planning to do is get the gold gov on uh, centralized exchanges paired with USDT and USDC. They're already in discussion with tier one centralized exchanges. And you know how much money pours into stuff from people on centralized exchanges. And that value will occur to uh, the ICP ecosystem. So that's the basic plan of how the gold DAO governance token or gold gov is going to proceed from here. Yes, the gold gov is, is, while it is a governance token, it also will have all of the standard functionality that you can use throughout the rest of the ICP ecosystem. For example, in open chat, once the SNS is done, the gold governance token will be one of the tokens that you can use in 
along with all the rest of the tokens on ICP. So you could send the tokens from one person to another. You could do giveaways with the gold token. Because this is on ICP, there's so much you can do with it already. It can be built into any application and exchanged and traded there. So this, this, and the governance token here actually directly gets the revenue comes into the treasury. And therefore, the more voting power you have, the more say you have over what the treasury does, that is potentially valuable. That said, because this is a governance token and most of the money is going into the treasury and then be, is being paid out for staking the token, there's definitely some clear speculative value at this point and for the foreseeable future. This is a very early stage project still. It will have to get a lot of adoption in order to bring value to it. The gold coin and the gold back stable coin will need to be used quite a bit. And at least to start, the main place it'll probably be used is on ICP. So for the foreseeable future, this is definitely speculative. That said, uh, the way this is set up, the foundation they've laid here with the technology is very strong, very low fee, very ready for mass adoption. And if ICP continues building the way it is and getting apps the way it is, you're going to see these gold coins, US dollar, gold backed USD. USDG stable coin, you're going to see all that getting used. And the more the gold coin and the stable coin get used, the more value will come into the DAO, the more valuable having a DAO token in theory will be. The gold holdings can be viewed by the public. So because this is a DAO and it's on chain, all of these things can easily, for example, anyone could set up an analytics tool to lay all the analytics out. You can go look right now and see all the gold bars right now. Because this is all on chain, you can just look at all this. You can see all the gold bars. You can go by activity, although there's there's no data right. Ah, here we go. So you can look at the data right now. You can see the volume in the last few days, the amount of grams of gold that have been swapped here. And uh, this is still an early project, though, so it's not like huge use. But you got hundreds of grams of gold being swapped a day right now already, which is good. And you've got thousands, you, you've got kilograms of gold you can buy. You can, you can buy a whole kilogram at once right here if you got 10K ICP. There's 100, there's like 20 or so 100 gram gold bars here. Then there's... You got a good amount of 10 gram gold bars as well. Looks like there's maybe 100 10 gram bars. Because all this is on ICP, you'll be there'll be the ability to make nice dashboards and analytics showing how much the NFTs are being traded, exactly how many gold tokens, how many US dollar stable coins out there are issued. You'll be able to make interfaces for all of this, which is really nice. So let's dive in now to the white papers we've i've looked over the website i've looked over the website and uh, well, we haven't quite finished the website so let's go through the website a little bit more and then we'll hit the white paper so the the gold token the project is governed by the gold gov token this token is issued upon the launch of the service nervous system and by holding the token you can make proposals and vote on decisions of, that the gold DAO is making. And when you do that, you will get rewards in the gold governance token paid back to you. And because this is on chain, you can vote on changes to the actual canisters that control the, the, the smart contracts and all the resources are in. And from this, you'll get staking rewards. So I see this as just another passive income stream at this point where you probably can follow someone else to vote and you just sit there and let the money roll in and then sell the staking rewards without touching the principal. Like it's another thing like ICP 
I'm looking at the network nervous system is just going to be I make smart investments and then I'm just going to get a paycheck indefinitely every day from the network nervous system. This, there's nothing as sweet as this I've seen in anything online right now. And I'm supporting projects that can add a lot of value to the world because if we can exchange, make trades with each other in something like gold instead of these fiat currencies, when you've got people all over the world that want to get off the US dollar, there's a big use case for getting into and using gold. So the gold governance token, it is a DAO token that essentially is intended to give you ownership over this entire ecosystem. And because it's on chain, you do have, you don't have necessarily legal ownership, but you do have control collectively over what is actually being done. Unlike with DAO tokens where the assets are off chain, there's no real control, which means no real ownership. As we've discussed, the gold NFTs are the foundation. They have direct ownership of physical gold stored in Swiss vaults. Each NFT is backed by a physical gold asset with a serial number and purity details that's transparent and recorded on the blockchain. And here's what's cool. Holders can redeem digital gold for physical gold and vice versa. That's what really makes this be legitimate to me is that you could redeem one of these NFTs for the physical gold. Now, I imagine there'll be some fees with actually getting that shipped to you and everything. But this is the key to make this work is that a holder could take that physical gold to get that sent to them and uh, uh, vice versa, send it back. So the gold NFTs, by being on chain, offer a very much needed level of transparency to make the whole system work. And then this is where the gold token and GLD swap come into play. So the GLDT token is a cross-chain token. I It looks like to me, especially with chain key Ethereum being integrated, they're planning to put this token on Ethereum and maybe even some other blockchains as well with the foundation of it being on ICP. The gold token is a fund fungible cross-chain token that can act as a medium of exchange. And that's what we need in this world is a medium of exchange that we're not constantly silently being ripped off on. As I said about fiat, all of us are constantly silently being ripped off by out of control inflation that makes the value of the money you have in the bank constantly drop in spending power. The Meanwhile, you have something like a gold, the GLDT, where it's fractionalized gold ownership and can serve as stable collateral for DeFi. With cross-chain utility, they're going to have liquidity across multiple blockchain ecosystems, where I very much imagine Ethereum will be one of those ecosystems. And then uh, the idea that you'll be able to offer a robust collateral framework for DeFi. So instead of having your DeFi pegged against things like stable coins, like USDT, USDC, that it's questionable whether you could even redeem those for US dollars or whether there'll be a bank run on those or whether those have the assets to back them. Having a DeFi pegged against things like a gold token could be absolutely ideal to, you know, have right now if your DeFi is pegged against all these stable coins and the stable coins are constantly losing value, that means your DeFi protocol, even if you're getting an APR, your DeFi protocol, if the price stays the same, is getting ripped off by inflation too. Think about that. If you're swapping a coin and the base price is pegged against USDC, which is pegged against the US dollar, you're taking multiple levels of risk, you're constantly losing money, and if the token stays the same price, it's actually going down in value. Even if it's happening relatively slow, even if your token's deflationary, if the price stays the same or even only goes up or a little bit because it's pegged against something that always is going down in value, it's really losing value. So if you could have your DeFi pegged against something like gold that on average constantly increases in value, then your DeFi coin could stay the same price 
and it could go up in value over time against the gold token. So that there's some really good use cases for this. And then the top of this ecosystem, as I've said, is the gold-backed stablecoin, which will offer inflation resistance. Although, if it's pegged to US, the dollar, if it's got collateral in gold, then you've got the confidence that the backing is there to redeem it. But if it's pegged against USD, it's still going to have the issue of inflation. So let's take a look at the governance, then we'll go on the white paper. So as I said, the project's powered by the Origin Protocol, and it's running on internet computer, ensuring decentralized governance and secure, transparent, 100% on-chain transactions. This is why internet computer is the best infrastructure in crypto that I see to build on, because there's nowhere else you could build something like Gold Dow completely on-chain. And because it's this is brought to life as a decentralized autonomous organization, it's possible by the ICP service nervous system, which essentially spins up an automated governance system. And uh, it allows you to have, uh, when this whole ecosystem does well, the gold DAO governance holder tokens, the gold governance token in theory should consistently increase in value. That said, anything could happen. Now let's look, we'll go into the white paper here for the deeper dive of this. And uh, let me check if there's any questions you have. David says, how do we benefit from people moving their projects from Ethereum to ICP? Massively, massively, because one of the most compelling use cases right now is to simply move your project off of using a centralized front end like Amazon, where you could potentially get hacked or lose control over the system and move the front end onto ICP. So you don't have to worry about your front end and you're getting hacked and uh, where the cost could end up being much lower and where you could cut all these third party things. Ethereum developers can move their application onto the EVM that's being developed on ICP and then they could expand the reach of their app through having their token be a chain key token. The best case I see for moving projects from Ethereum to ICP is moving it over to ICP and then getting a DAO system set up on ICP. Right now, if you got an Ethereum project, you have to pay for all these other dependencies. Think about things like oracles, things like websites and database hosting. You have to pay for all of this stuff and you have to make it all work with blockchain. An Ethereum developer, once all this is fully built out on ICP, it's pretty close in some cases. And in others, you've got chain key Ethereum functional now. What you could do is move your Ethereum app and your token over onto ICP, get the chain key version of it up. Then you could even launch that as a service nervous system token, just like Gold Dow where you could then raise a bunch of money and turn your, your app into a real DAO on internet computer. So the most compelling reason that you would want to move over to ICP would be lots of addition, the making your app truly set up for mass adoption and making it truly decentralized. Jay Classic, thank you very much for the first super chat on the stream. $10 in Canadian saying, if Definity took a step back, is ICP developed enough to stand alone and keep going? Probably not. It, it While the infrastructure itself is set up to essentially keep running, it's such a baby at this point and there's so many things to be developed to help it reach its full potential. Like it's Definity that's building things like chain key Ethereum out fully. So at this point, yes, it is very dependent on Definity. And if Definity just went off and did something else or dissolved or disappeared for some reason, it's I doubt that Internet Computer Protocol is in a position at this point to really run that well on its own. That said, it is technically set up so that it could, in theory, keep running on its own without Definity. Just the pace of 
innovation would probably greatly slow down because these innovations need, according to Dominic Williams, the founder of Definity, and the he says that he has the most talented cryptography and blockchain largest research and development team for blockchain in the world. If you take that away, is the, the pace of innovation will probably slow down to a crawl. However, the more they build ICP out, the more, in theory, it could work without Definity in the future. The, the dream is to get a world computer set up that would not need Definity at all, that it could just operate completely. Thorazine, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. I will, I appreciate the love and support on the live stream and the recognition you get for the super chat. Uh, if you'd like to cut out the middleman, YouTube takes at least 40% of your super chat and I don't actually get the money for a month. If you'd like to cut out the middleman and get an alert that pops up with sound, use my 1UP coin link. My 1UP coin link, you have to send at least $3.33 worth of crypto. If you use my 1UP coin link, it will pop up on the screen and make a sound and stay up for like three minutes. And it will instantly come into my wallet. There's hundreds of different cryptos supported. So if you want to cut the middleman out, you can use that link. Qu quickly put that $10 in Canadian into Gold Dow. So I put about $300 into Gold Dow already. So let's take a look at the white paper for this now. A, a lot of the white paper I've already covered and explained, but we'll highlight certain things in the white paper. So let's look at the executive summary the, to make sure. So I'm repeating this lots of times because I repetition is the key to learning. Repetition is the key to learning. I just listened to a video this morning of Dominique talking about how internet computer works. Now you would think at this point I might not need to dom to listen to Dominique Williams talk to an audience of people who many of them have never heard of internet computer, explain it in the very basic sense. In order to make sure I really understand it, I continue to listen and make sure I understand the basics, even of internet computer on a daily basis. And Dominic said one thing, that stood out, Dominic said that internet computer is the first adaptive blockchain in the world. It is the first adaptive blockchain in the world. The first blockchain with a completely self-governing system that has went through hundreds of changes with no forks, no backdoor developer access to control things. It is the first adaptive blockchain in the world. So it's important to let things be repeated so that you really understand them. Therefore, we will repeat some in this white paper to make sure we really understand it. This is a Gold Dow white paper. It's an innovative approach to integrate physical gold with blockchain technology. If you're excited about real world assets, this looks to be one of the most exciting real world asset tokens that I've seen. It'll have about a $30 million market cap currently. Now the market cap swings heavily based on ICP's price. So the market cap right now is about 5 million ICP. Therefore, whatever the price of ICP is makes the effective market cap at this time. What we've got is with Gold Dow, they are creating a stable and decentralized financial ecosystem, which this is very valuable. We need a stable and decentralized financial ecosystem. This is what we are lacking, a stable and decentralized financial ecosystem. And the more the financial system is unstable, the more of a need there is for this. The basic Gold Dow's basic project revolves around three primary products. So these are what they are contributing. Gold NFTs, gold tokens, and a USD pegged stablecoin. And I've went over these several times, but we'll make sure it's clear. The gold NFTs represent direct ownership of physical gold bars stored in secure vaults in Switzerland. 
independently audited, and offers redemption options for physical gold. Then the gold token is a bridge between the physical gold and the digital ecosystem. The gold token allows you to buy small portions like a hundredth of a gram of gold and then transact. You could set prices. Imagine merchants in uh, countries where their local currency is unstable. They could set prices for food in the gold token instead of in the local currency. And then people could swap their local currency for ICP and swap that to the gold token and have a very stable means of transaction. Governments that wanted to hold some gold or organizations could even buy some of the gold token or the gold NFTs themselves. Then uh, there's the USD peg stable coin, which could be ideal for many different applications from pricing to DeFi applications and much more. All of this is built on internet computer protocol via the origin protocol, which is the origin protocol is another protocol on top of internet computer. Jeremy says, I've watched every single Dominic ICP video, sometimes twice, and I still watch anything that comes out. I do too, because I want to make sure I understand what's going on. I want to hear the newest of what Dominic's talking about. And it also helps me to see what that the founder of the project is out there talking about it. Yes, Lexatrix says price levels are not important. Exactly. On a day-to-day -day basis, price is fairly, is fairly irrelevant. What is important is long-term vision and utility of the network. Yes, the main mistake I've made in crypto is getting caught up in this degen short-term crypto mindset. The vision I see for internet computer is massive utility solving huge problems we have in the world and uh, passive income. And I say passive, although voting or following someone who votes is required. The absolute dream in crypto is to be able to take some money you have today and then never touch that, but just constantly get a paycheck off of that all the time. That's what I'm looking at. Can't wait for Vitalik to go bonkers on ICP. With the Ethereum integration, it's possible, but Vitalik four years ago brought up ICP. When they asked him about what did he think was a competitor for Ethereum, he said ICP four years ago before it even launched. So there is that. Exactly. Final Daylight says utility is greater than hype. Yes, that's what we're looking at. Utility is what you want. Bitcoin and Ethereum, Bitcoin and Ethereum have provided, they are the top market cap cryptos now because they've provided the most utility. And they provided the most utility because they were the first big technological breakthroughs where you could do stuff with Bitcoin that nothing else could do. And all of the essentially copies of Bitcoin, while some of them have went way higher in the short term in price compared to Bitcoin, over the long term, all the Bitcoin copies, forks of Bitcoin, networks, proof of work networks, very similar to Bitcoin, most of them have done very poorly over time because there's just not the utility. They haven't done anything really useful. ICP has done something massively useful and Gold Dow is a very, very clear example of doing that. This project can't be built anywhere besides ICP. So let's hit some more key points in the white paper. Then one of the main points here is this project uses Internet Computer Protocol and Origin, ensuring decentralized governance and secure, transparent transactions. It introduces a DAO, a Gold Dow, running through an SNS on ICP. There's nothing else you could build this on today. And that's why ICP has such massive value because you literally can't build a project all on chain anywhere else like this. And not only can't you build anything, the way people try and build stuff like this is much harder. It's just simply easier. If you want to have real world asset NFTs and a DAO to govern everything, and several different tokens, it's easier to build it on internet computer than it is anywhere else. And it's set up for mass adoption. 
So the white paper will cover some more of the details that we've talked about. So let's look at some of the details. I've already made it clear why we need gold. And the one of the big values that they're looking to have here is a USD pegged stable coin that's fully backed by physical gold. That is a big deal. We've talked about all of this, so let's continue to scroll past here and see if there's any more questions in the chat. Since this video is done in collaboration with Definity on a community grant, I will not speculate about ICP's price or criticize specifically other cryptos for how bad they are. So that's I thought that'd be a fun challenge doing this grant. Let's see if I can not talk about ICP's price and not you know, make a this crypto sucks versus ICP video. You all obviously you can say what you you can share your feelings in the comments. To me, the big thing is what kind of utility does it have? Do we know who the biggest funders of ICP are? There's I uh you can look stuff up like that. I have not looked too much into that myself because I care about what is the network working? Can I use it? The technology's there. And uh, there's, I, I researched a little bit of that before and it looks like they are, I don't know that much about that. Maybe I'll research that some more. Good question, Jay. I know, HA says, Vitalik is hiding his attractive sister from us. He is. He is hiding his attractive sister from us because he doesn't want a bunch of liquidity pouring out of ETH into ICP until his ICP bag is full. I imagine once Vitalik loads his bag with ICP, then he'll he'll tell everybody about it. But maybe maybe he's waiting he's waiting for the optimal time to swap. And then he'll post something about it. Yes, Vitalik and Dominic did collaborate collaborate in the very early days of Ethereum. If you watch my Dominic Williams presentation, we talked about that. Superman says a lot of top crypto influencers are starting to talk about ICP, but you want to you can tell they're holding back because they want to pack their bags. That's that looks accurate. That looks accurate because. There are definitely other content creators who are great researchers who really know what they're doing and they've seen my videos, they agree with me, but they don't want to give up all their views and they don't want to miss the chance to load their own bags fully. So yes, this is going to have a momentum to it. I am seeing more and more positive videos about ICP. I'm seeing more videos about people saying I was wrong about ICP. And I'm glad to have the chance of help from that. Yeah, Bobby O, I'm glad to see Bobby O's videos are getting so many views too. Thank you, Cut Action has reminded us Polychain Capital was a large founder. Anderson Horitz, you can look that stuff up on like Crypto Rank, it'll tell you there. Vitalik is a good and close friend of Dom. All right, so let's look at the Gold Dow ecosystem. I would like to see uh, the, on the Gold Dow page if you want to see some people who are vo involved in the Gold Dow ecosystem. If you look at the Gold Dow page, they have videos. They have videos from several people who are. Dang, I just got a share. Let's go. So uh, Gold Dow just shared my stream on their page. That's awesome. I'll, I'll thank you very much for the share. So Gold Dow just got my video and they put straight to the YouTube video link, which is great. So Gold Dow just shared my post out here. And uh, I'm hypnotized by my own voice. Yeah. So the if you scroll back on Gold Dow a bit, they have they've put up several people. All right, it's easier to just go to the YouTube channel. So if you go to the link tree, if you want to see some of the people I watched all of these where's their here their youtube channel is so i watched i went through the gold dow youtube channel as you can see i watched this video on x i watched every other video on their channel and they're like one minute long ceo of dow link julian says he was one of the people involved in recovering funds during the ethereum dow hack way back in the day I watched all these videos to get to know some of the people in the project 
and uh, the partners they have. This, but as a part of doing my research before I bought anything, before I did a video about this. So I watched all these videos. This is, this is research. Like watch, see the people involved in the project. It looks like to me that people are buying hundreds of thousands of ICP to put into Gold Dow, 80% of which is going to be locked for eight years. At some point, internet computer is just, you're going to look so silly for not talking about it that to me, more and more creators are going to get big into internet computer. I had the feeling last night that there's going to be a creator with a much bigger community you know, more followers and than me that's going to go all in on internet computer soon, just like I've done, which I'm kind of happy about, but I'm also kind of sad about because I'm one of the biggest creators that's like went all in on just doing ICP videos. So I'm enjoying where I'm at now. I think somebody, there, there's going to be somebody soon who does what I've done and basically does videos about ICP every day and dumps the rest of their portfolio into ICP and, and then... Yeah, then they'll, they'll be, then I'll feel smaller because they're, they're in on this thing, but that's, that's fine. We're all in this together. So it's funny how sometimes the things you want in life also, you know, take away from other things. It's like everything is really kind of neutral in life. That's, that's my intuition. I'm interested to see who it is though. I'm very interested. I've got some suspicions on people you can tell they're loading their ICP bags in the background and talking about these other coins. I'm uh, looking forward to the video where they go all in on ICP. I'm very interested to see who it is. Gold issuer. All right, what are we, what are we talking about? I got a little distracted. Where are we gonna refocus this thing? All right, this, this picture is a good picture of kind of the how this whole ecosystem works together. So right here, you have the, the community. This is me and you. If you've got some of the gold SNS, we have the gold SNS. We can govern and we can receive rewards on this. And then Dow Link, they're the ones that are initiating in the gold SNS. And I imagine are receiving a good amount of the tokens that are going to the development team. The gold SNS owns a 500 million OGY donation that was given, which that's millions of dollars worth of the origin token. And through this, the gold DAO SNS and through the origin neuron is able to participate in the origin governance. And the origin governance controls the gold NFTs and the canisters. Yumi NFT marketplace distributes and trades the gold NFTs. Then the gold issuers, the gold issuers are like when you bring gold to the vault and put the gold in the vault, then they are able to issue and mint gold NFTs using the origin protocol. Then these gold NFTs can be swapped one gram for a hundred of the gold token. Then the gold DAO SNS, and this is what you can only do on internet computer, the gold DAO SNS actually through code directly controls this gold token that's swapped against the gold NFTs and then controls also this US dollar backed gold stable coin, which is also held based on the gold token through collateralization. All this is built on internet computer. So that's a high level of how the ecosystem works. And we've covered the products in detail. Scroll down, check back if there's any questions. I appreciate all your love and support here. Good to see you again, Corey Chambers. Uh, actually, what's funny is this. I have two accounts on YouTube. I have this crypto account, which this is currently the most watched YouTube channel I have. And then I have a, my original channel. This this channel was the channel that I, at one point, I was one of the top five or so crypto YouTubers in the world. You know, my, some of my videos get like 100K views when I put them out. I was one of the first people to do a big popular video on Ethereum mining. I really called that one correctly, didn't I? 
I put a video out in like 2017 early about how you could make 200 a day Ethereum mining. Yeah, that one went really well if you followed that one. You made a killing off of that one if you followed that one. However, on this account, I stopped. I, I'm i doing the, everything besides crypto on this account because most of you are following me on this main crypto account and this older account just got destroyed by the all having a way too diverse of an audience who then didn't like basically every video I put out. So this this channel has been kind of dead and we're working on bringing this one back to life a bit. So this if you want the full Jerry Banfield experience every other day I'm live on this channel. Tomorrow I'm going to share my story of how I got sober in Alcoholics Anonymous about the same time as now. I would love for you to join us there. And two days after that, I'm going to show you all my income data from YouTube, from all my channels this year. You'll really like that one. All right, next one. How can you have a dollar stablecoin backed by gold? That's a great question, Tony. So we can actually talk about gold now and <laughs> instead of myself. So here's how it works. If you look over in the white paper, here's how it works. The gold NFTs represent physical gold bars that are held in a vault that you put a gold bar in the vault, then they create an NFT and put the NFT out there. It's for sale. Then there's a gold token, which represents one hundredth of a gram of gold. And thank God we're in the metric system and not pounds and ounces. So the gold token, a hundred gold tokens is then equal to a gram. Then what they do is you can use your gold tokens to create USDG. And it has to be collateralized at, it says later in the white paper, like 150%. So you can use your gold tokens to mint a USD stablecoin, which you can also stake the USD stablecoin as well. So this is how you turn gold NFTs into gold tokens, and then the gold tokens can be turned into a USD stablecoin. Great, thank you for asking that question. Where can you buy gold DAO? This is on the Internet Computer Launchpad, which is on, uh, you should access this through the official Internet Computer website. And you can go to the, you can go to the NNS and staking. So you go to internetcomputer.org, go to NNS and staking, which will take you to the network nervous system. Then you go over on the menu, you click on Launchpad, and then you can get into Gold DAO from here. In order to fund this, you go to My Tokens, sign in with an internet identity. I have full tutorials. If you search Jerry Banfield internet identity, exactly how to create one, you can buy internet computer from an exchange, then send it to your internet computer address. Then you go over onto Launchpad, and uh, then click participate and that will put your that'll put it in for you yes icp that was a dream a few months ago i really hit that one exactly lexitrix says usdg is it is backed by the gold token which is backed by real gold so it is a gold collateralized stable coin yes you've You've got the gold NFTs, which can be converted to the gold token, and then the gold token can be used to print <laughs> USDG. How bullish on you are the ICP will be used as a currency? It's the main currency I'm transacting with today. So out of all that I know about crypto, I couldn't be more bullish. So let's, let's get another look into how the gold DAO ecosystem works. So you have the, look at the partnerships for this. So you have Metalor, a gold miner. They get the gold delivered via Loomis, gold delivery. Then they use Loomis to put the gold in the vault. And then from there they can, this is how you have the gold delivered. So the gold is mined, delivered via Loomis. Then you can create a gold NFT off of that and that's then this gets turned into an nft and then if somebody requests redemption 
the NFT goes back to the NFT issuer, burns the NFT, and then sends the physical gold out there. If the gold just sits in the vault, then uh, you've got the gold turned into a gold NFT via the origin protocol, which runs with internet computer. The NFT issuer is able to buy gold to get more gold filled in the vault. Then the Yumi marketplace is a front end for the gold NFT where there's a guaranteed market where anyone can, you have a guaranteed buyback of the gold NFT. So if you buy a gold NFT and decide you want to sell it, you will, there is a bit of a fee that you'll pay to sell it back for a guaranteed buyback. But then there's also a secondary market where you could sell it theoretically closer to the exact price. So this is a big picture of how the whole system works. Yes, Alexa Trick says a gold collateralized stablecoin is a great idea because the inflation resistance properties of the collateral backing it. No need to worry about trusting a bank with a USD denominated deposit. Yes, especially if there's more financial uncertainty that's coming in the world, a gold backed stablecoin could be a safe haven. I am going to do a video about the Elena AI project. I will I will do a video about that. I've seen a lot of suggestions to do that. The next live stream I'm going to do is going to talk about vet keys because when I was listening to the vet keys presentation, so you now can always see what the next live stream I'm going to do on my channel is. So right now this is the one I'm doing. The next one will be Friday about an hour from now. It'll start and it'll show you in your local time zone. You can click notify me to make sure you get notified. And I have notifications everywhere else. So vet keys, vet keys, according to the presentation I was watching from the developers at Definity, they said vet keys are the biggest thing they've developed this year. They said this is the biggest feature they've launched this year. Now think about all the stuff they've launched on internet computer right now. They said vet keys are the biggest thing we're launching this year. And they've launched Chinky Bitcoin, Chinky Ethereum vet keys will allow application privacy. So we're going to, I'll do a presentation next about vet keys and then Elena AI is on my radar after that. Alego says, why is it more crypto backed by a gold collateralized stablecoin? Because up until now, there hasn't been the technology to make a trustworthy gold backed stablecoin that is mass adoption friendly. Right now you've got gold stable coins, but they are on chains like Ethereum where you have to pay gas fees to transact, which doesn't make it mass adoption friendly when the gas fees could be five, 10 plus dollars just to do a transaction or to swap them. You have to swap the token for another token. That could be much, much more. And you need, a, in order to make a gold backed or gold collateralized stable coin, you need to have all the stuff on chain and you need to have the governance set up in a decentralized way. This gold Dow launching on ICP within a year of the launch pad coming up with origin protocol launching within a year until now, it hasn't been possible to really do a trustworthy mass adoption friendly gold collateralized stable coin. It hasn't been possible until now, and it's only been possible for about a year on ICP to actually have all the different technology you need in place to build the gold collateralized stablecoin. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else tries to do another gold stablecoin or some other asset stablecoin within the next year also. So more crypto should be backed by a gold collateralized stablecoin, but right now, if you don't have those NFTs on chain, then it's very questionable as to whether there's real gold backing these things. And if it's questionable as to whether the gold's actually there, then it's it's not trustworthy. So it looks like this is just now possible. Is there a difference between a gold DAO token and OGY? Yes. So the gold, gold DAO is in a partnership with Origin. Origin is the protocol on internet computer that makes the gold NFTs possible. So if you go to origin.com, 
the technology they have is the origin NFT standard. The origin NFT standard is a protocol built on internet computer that allows you to put your NFT, your real world asset fully on chain, pictures, videos if desired, biometric data, a complete history, it's on the website. This is the first protocol in the world to have an NFT standard that is fully on chain that you can use to track things like real world assets and actually have all the data in it. So that's what the Origin Protocol does. Gold Dow then uses the Origin Protocol for all the gold bars. Then the gold bars, what Gold Dow does, the Origin Protocol with the Yumi Marketplace. Origin Protocol has the NFTs on there. Then the Yumi Marketplace is where you can transact these. Then Gold Dow, using those NFTs that are on Origin, that are built using the Origin Protocol, Gold Dow is then making the gold token. And then the US dollar collateralized stablecoin. It's then making both of those based on those NFTs. The Gold Dow has a partnership with Origin for the NFT technologies, as Lex Lexitric explained in one sentence. I gave you several paragraphs about that. Origin also gave millions of dollars of tokens locked up for five years to Gold Dow, which you value will accrue from accrue from the Gold Governance token. This will provide funds and voting power over the Origin protocol for everyone holding the Gold Dow token. Is there proof for a one-to-one -one gold backing for this DAO? What there is, they've got these NFTs. The NFTs are fully on chain. Each of them has a unique serial number. Then, I mean, that's a great question. Each of them has a unique serial number. Then you have the gold delivery from Loomis. You have a KPMG gold auditor that periodically audits the gold that is in the vault in Switzerland. And then the gold NFTs can also be redeemed for physical gold. You've got the gold auditor in place that periodically audits. You've got the NFTs to ensure there's not paper gold being sell, sold. You can see each gold bar has a serial number. Each NFT goes with a specific gold bar. And then anyone holding a gold NFT can request redemption and lead to the NFT getting burnt and then getting sent the physical gold bar. Let's, and we'll scroll down further into the, here. This, this prod, this will cover more about that. So in the white paper, you can see there's a secure escrow. The gold project begins with the establishment of a secure escrow system to hold the physical gold bars. A trusted custodian securely stores the gold bars in a designated vault, ensuring physical, physical integrity and preventing unauthorized assets. Once the gold bars are securely stored, the next step involves the digitization of the asset. The origin protocol issues a digital certificate that represents the ownership of a specific gold bar. The certificate is minted as an NFT providing a unique identifier linked to the physical gold asset held in escrow. To maintain authenticity and trust, an escrow verification mechanism is implemented. This entails regular audits and verifications to ensure the physical gold bars in escrow align with the digital certificates issued on the protocol. This process can involve independent third-party audits ensuring transparency and accuracy. Because these are NFTs that are stored directly on the chain, this makes it very easy to audit where you can just look at every single NFT and then check that that specific gold bar is in the vault. Although you would need to make sure that that gold bar is not being sold as a part of anything else besides the actual NFT on Gold Dow and on the Yumi Marketplace. And that has been a big issue with gold is, you know, there's one gold vault 
and then the gold bars are sold all over the place and uh, then uh, a lot of gold that people buy cannot be physically redeemed to me what makes this most trustworthy is that these are also able to be redeemed where you have a specific gold bar with a serial number that you can then redeem if you'd want to Then there's the market integration, where it integrates through Origin Protocol. We've talked about that, where it enables users to buy, trade, and sell the gold-backed NFTs. Yumi provides the front end to the marketplace and the secondary marketplace. To ensure the security and verifiability of the gold-backed assets, the technical process incorporates a robust smart contract mechanism using the Origin NFT platform, to guarantee the digital certificates are linked to the assets in escrow. This is how they set it up so that you can be sure that the gold assets you've got in custody are actually there. And theoretically, based on what I just said, like one of the worst case scenarios where theoretically some other gold, the, the gold bars were sold in some other method as well as on here, You've got the means with these NFTs and the matching serial numbers always able to be redeemed that if ever there was not a gold bar that was there, an auditor would be able to find that and will be able to point out the specific NFT and specific gold bar that wasn't there. With this kind of transparency, it would be very unwise to uh, have anything besides just these NFTs associated with the gold bars. This is why the rest of gold ownership outside of having gold in your own physical custody is very problematic because you don't have this level of transparency in the asset itself. You don't have an exact serial number, an exact bar, and you don't have it on a blockchain so that you can prove that you're the only one that has that and that there's not three people who think they have the same gold bar. This is an important point in the white paper. If you want to buy one of the gold bars, there is a premium for production cost. And then if you want to sell back, there is a 3% risk fee if Yumi actually buys it for you. So if you buy it and then sell an NFT directly from and to Yumi, you will pay a premium for the production cost. And if you sell it back, then you'll pay below the London exchange price you also pay the risk fee however if you want to minimize your production fees the one kilogram gold bar as you can see if you consider that one kilogram is a thousand grams you can tell the uh, rough amount of the production price on a one gram gold bar at 12 icp right now 12.76 icp Versus if you invest in the big boy, the one single gold bar, that, or one kilogram gold bar that they have, is 11K ICP. So if we do a little bit of math on that, you can see that right now, it's you're definitely, you can get the one kilogram gold bar a lot cheaper. You're paying a premium of about 14% or so. To get a smaller gold bar which would be equivalent to the production value essentially so if you want the best deal you can go grab one of the bigger gold bars the one kilogram one has is much cheaper than the other one tavo nice to see you today i uh, to to be full about my portfolio my home value is much greater than the value of my icp portfolio so i do believe in uh, having a diversified portfolio in terms of type of assets so i have a house where we have more equity in the house than mortgage left my wife has cash in the bank and other kinds of investments and then my my investment is entirely in the internet computer ecosystem at this point Except for a couple of other cryptos, I got stuck staking them and I will get out as soon as I can. Is this gold DAO a droplet towards owning gold? Yes, that's the idea. Lexatrix says, this is what creates the trustless properties of gold collateral, a brilliant economic innovation. This is what we've been struggling to see 
with gold and real world assets is creating something that has enough transparency that you can trust it. There hasn't been a gold collateralized stablecoin that I know of that's been done so far because unless you build it all on chain and have a setup like this, there's not enough trust and accountability to stop it from being manipulated. So this looks like it is, is set up very well. Yes, this gold DAO is a nation building project. I mean, this is huge. And especially if you consider the huge amount of people in the world who would like to be able to essentially transact in gold, but who are not able to or don't want to try and buy in custody physical gold. Yes, you can also exchange 100 of the to gold tokens back to the original NFT. <laughs> what do you have to do to get the IRS off of you? <laughs> Any, let's, I've got about uh, five more minutes. We'll see if there's anything else covered in the white paper that we... I've talked about most everything that I think is really important with this project. There are some fees in all different parts of the equation. For example, if you swap the gold NFT for the gold token, there are some fees to swap that. With the stable coin, there are fees as well. And you can earn according... The stable coin is not out yet. And it looks like the stable coin will not be out for about a year. So there's, it's going to be some time before the stable coin is out. Which, that's good. Because if you're holding and staking the entire time, I will be locking all of my gold governance tokens up for the maximum amount of time. And uh, I will simply be then cashing out the rewards that I earn while not touching the principal. One thing that would be nice to cover if I can see this is here, the distribution at Genesis. So the fundraising contributors, 200 million of the gold that gov will be released at month zero with, so as soon as the SNS completes, at alternating intervals every three months in nine installments. So it looks like there will be some, if you put into the SNS, there will be a little bit that's available at zero and then most of it will be locked up. The founding team will also get the same arrangement, 180 million to them. So when you compare just the two of these versus holding ICP, there is a significant issue. And this to me is the bad and the ugly of the project. So a lot of the value of the project is based on governing these gold NFTs and uh, having the ICP locked up in the treasury. However, you are getting diluted essentially 50% um, almost immediately by the founding team. In a lot of ways, it might be much simpler and much easier if the gold governance token is a whole nother layer of risk. And if you compare it just to, for example, the ratio of the gold governance token versus ICP over time, it might be much simpler to just stick with ICP and not mess with the gold governance token at all. In fact, that'd probably be what I'd recommend for the m most people. Because then again, those of you watching are probably not most people. You're avid crypto investors and enthusiasts. You're always looking for the next big project. You're looking to support the growth on internet computer. This project looks like it could add a whole bunch of value to internet computer. That said, this project could fail an internet computer could succeed. Or if internet computer fails, this project may go down with it. So there's much more risk to me with the gold governance token versus ICP. And the, the treasury, you're only getting 20% of the token. So if you consider the full dilution of this versus ICP, you're essentially getting diluted like four more times over. So it may be difficult for this to hold its value against ICP over the long term as ICP is set up for such mass adoption. However, I will give you the opposite end of that too. Because this is such a relatively small market cap and there will be a very tiny amount of the supply, this could do really well and rip past ICP in the short term. And it could, if it becomes as big of a deal as it could be, this may do better than ICP. That said, it adds complexity. And one of the worst things you can do to your, your, your entire life is add complexity. 
So it's important to me to be careful where you add complexity. This is the best project that I've seen launch. Sorry to the other projects, but this to me is the project that is the biggest potential I see on ICP right now because of the of the potential use for the world, the use cases in DeFi, the collateralized stablecoin. Like this looks like a project that has massive potential, but it is more to do. It's more proposals to vote on. It's another community to be involved in. I already have internet computer and several other tokens on internet computer. The Guardian Archive says, what's the best way to hold software? Uh, I, I hold my ICP directly in the network nervous system. You can use another hardware wallet if you want. However, given ICP runs on the network nervous system, if the network nervous system goes down, your ICP is going with it. So I don't see the need to use another hardware wallet when combined with the network nervous system. If you want to see how I recommend holding my, how I hold my own ICP, search Jerry Banfield Internet Identity, and I have a full tutorial going on all that. Gold Dow, thank you for being here. Really appreciate the share. Yes, this is the most impressive SNS launch we've ever seen before. This reached its minimum goal in just five hours. It went over 200,000 ICP in just five hours. There's probably a lot of that that has been bought recently off of exchanges and then put directly in here. I think this has a very good chance of reaching the maximum commitment goal and being one of the biggest, if not the biggest, fundraise we've seen on internet computers so far. So this, this is amazing given... If you think about how small internet computer is as a market compared to you know how much was just raised in five hours by just 500 people an average of 400 icp per person this is a huge project launching on internet computer and it's really exciting this is the most i've put into any icp project myself at this rate i don't even know if i'll be able to put more in i mean i obviously could but if I want to put any more in, I'll probably do that today before it reaches the maximum commitment goal. So I'm grateful for the chance to present this project to you. Obviously, this is educational material to entertain you and inform you. I've done research. I've, I've done much more research than I've shown here. I've watched all the videos. I've watched Gold Dow. I've looked at a bunch of conversation. I've thought a lot about Gold Dow and the bigger picture of the world. So I invite you to make sure you always do your own research and think things through and be hesitant to invest in anything unless you've thoroughly researched it and you really believe in it. So I've added gold down to my fairly small portfolio or small in terms of I don't hold that many coins. I have Open Chat, ICP, BoomDAO, Sonic, and uh, Nuance. So I appreciate you watching. I'll shout you all out and we'll sign off. If you want to make sure to see the next live stream, we'll be talking all about vet keys on Friday. It'll be about 45 minutes starting from now. It'll always tell you in your local time zone on YouTube when it is. On the internet, the Definity team said that vet keys is the biggest feature they've launched this year. And to be fair, they have a lot of competition our biggest features they've launched this year so we'll be talking about that on friday vet keys is huge for institutional adoption and enterprise adoption of icp it's huge for a bunch of projects and things you can build and uh, i appreciate all your love and support thanks for watching i'll be live tomorrow i found it's very difficult to successfully invest in crypto if you're in the middle of addiction if you're struggling with alcoholism or you'd just like to hear my story of how I got nine years sober on my original channel tomorrow, I will be going into my full story of, you know, from how I drank and how my life used to be for to how I'm sober now. I think you'll really enjoy that. That was one of my most watched videos previously on this original channel. So if you'd like to see that, that'll be the next time I'm live. I'll share a direct link to that in the chat. I'll shout you out here. And we'll get rolling. Thanks for thanks for all the love and support here today.
So who am I thinking? The one and only Monday Nala and Cube HA Lexatric. The Guardian Archives Tavo. Ah, I don't remember that Tavo. Kiza, Sapadusi, the Gold Dao, Shupakan Mishra, Celtic Knight. Alexatric, thank you for all the very helpful answers to the questions as well. Thorazine007, Glenn, nice to see you. Thank you, 163 likes on this. Really appreciate you all. I might, on my original channel, we might do an hour-long rap one day. I'm thinking about doing an hour-long rap. Cut action, congrats on two months sober. Much love, my friends. Thank you for love and support. Remember, next live streams on tomorrow on my main channel or original channel. And then Friday, I'll always schedule these ahead of time so you can know in advance and put it in your calendar. Thank you each. I'll share the replay on X and we're going to log off now. I'm going to go to hot yoga and sweat it out. Kelly, good to see you, Kelly. Thanks for being here.